Are you worried about something? Scared about what the next few days may bring? Uncertain about what the future holds? Our text for today is taken from selected verses of Philippians chapter 4. And Paul concludes his letter that he wrote in prison to the congregation at Philippi with these words. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellent if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. What you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things. And the God of peace will be with you. For I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. I know how to be brought low, and I know how to abound in any and every circumstance. I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and need. I could do all things through him who strengthens me. And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. With these closing words in Paul's letter to the church at Philippi, he is encouraging, <clears throat> he is encouraging us today that despite whatever you are facing, rejoice in the Lord, because the Lord is at hand. Dealing with pain, concerned about a loved one, I tell you, God's got this. Well, Paul was in prison. And he knew that he was going to suffer much for the Lord. Yet he was not anxious. But rather, he was filled with peace. And he was content. Knowing that God was going to be with him through it all. Today, Paul encourages us with these words. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, let your requests be made known to God in prayer. God's got this. And if you let him, he will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus, and he will carry you through this. He promises it. When you are in pain, when you are worried, when you are suffering, think about these things. And the God of peace 
will be with you. Paul closes with these words. You can do all things through him who strengthens you. And God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. May we give honor and praise to God who is carrying us through everything, especially what you are facing today. In the name of Jesus, amen.